A victory today gives the Tennessee Titans their 12th win of the season. That 12th victory means the Titans are the number one seed in the AFC playoffs. Sack! Kyle Pecco! Tannehill stops, looks, looks, fires, man is wide open. Berkser, touchdown, Titans! Touchdown, Titans! That's A.J. Brown! Touchdown, Titans! Tannehill, he's buried, he gets away, he rolls to his right, he throws downfield, Westbrook Aquino all alone, fires, Julio Jones, touchdown, Titans, finally, Julio! Hey, it wasn't pretty, but we got it done, man, number one seed, lockdown. All you did was get yourselves in the Elite Eight, congratulations. Yeah. You earned it. We're just getting started, man. Keep pressing, take advantage of every day from now until we go again. Win on three, one, two, three, win! win. baby playoffs we are here i am lance smith live in nissan stadium you're right here to see me you want to see this guy right here mr monday night keith bullock is in the house playoff football playoff Playoffs. football gotta be excited gotta Whew, be excited. gotta be and gotta have you back keith my man good to see you yeah man it's uh, great to be here you know i've been holding it down on wednesdays with right. amy and uh, amy titans amy yeah Mike Keith on the radio. My mom always said I had a face for radio, but <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> glad y'all had me come by today. We disagree with mama. No, you're doing great on that. You're killing it, holding it down. Also, how's Just Love? Oh, man, it's great, man. Being a business owner and actually being hands-on, um, I would have it no other way. So um, we're... We're, we're coming along. We're doing a good job. For yeah, sure. he's a man of his word, too. If you follow him on Instagram, he's always busy. Always busy over Trying there. Trying to, man. Holding it down. All right. Uh, well, it, Keith, it's great to have you here. we got to talk about this. We're really excited. Let's get right to it. Hot takes with Keith. And, uh, and talk about the situation we are in. It is the postseason. We are the number one team in the AFC. Oh, my God. It sounds so good. Earned every bit of it. Um... How important is this bye week? You know, as a fan just watching the game for years, I'm always like, oh, I want to keep that momentum. But we've been so beat up, so beat up this year. Uh, how important is that bye week in this situation? Um, I think it's great for uh, a lot of reasons. One, like you said, they were beat up this year. They were still able to finish with a 12 and I mean, 11 and five record. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, 12 and what was it? We're, 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 we got 18 weeks now. 18 so. weeks now. Yeah, it's crazy. So it, yeah, it threw me off. But with the number one seed and getting players playing time that wouldn't necessarily be in the game. Mm -hmm. You know, they had a lot of guys that, uh, that had to fill in and roles and get significant playing times in big game situations. And they were able to get wins. And even in the losses, obviously, it was obvious they were able to go back and make corrections. So when they did come back on the field and were put in those situations that they were beat in before, yeah. they were able to be successful and make plays. Yeah, cough, 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 coach of the year. Mike Rabel, oh, yeah, coach no of doubt. the year. No no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. I mean, come on, seriously. I mean, like going up against that kind of adversity and yeah. dealing with that, and holding it together, and then getting the number one seed. Uh, what a story it's been. But we didn't, I didn't even mention that they lost their best player on What's offense. His name? Uh, oh, yeah. The King? Derrick King. <laughs> You know, so yeah. and, and and to fill in backfield by committee, and mm -hmm. then some people able to step up and play a, a big role offensively. And the defense was lights out this year. Yeah, yeah, man. It, it, it's exciting moving forward. Absolutely. Well, uh, one guy. You know, we talked about the absence of Derrick Henry and the the emergence of all the you know Deontay Foreman stepping up. But listen, in this game that we just saw in Houston, this guy right here, Ryan Tannehill, was yeah. dealing. Yeah, was dealing the football. Yeah. Uh, 23 of 32, 287, four touchdowns, uh, almost 140 in the rating. Also, the AFC Offensive Player of the Week to close out the season. Uh, what a statement game it was for him as well. Uh, because, you know, he, he there's this is the naysaying talk. If you're not a yeah. Titans fan, you don't want to give Ryan Tannehill respect, but he earned it. Absolutely, this season, especially that game. Yeah, this game was huge because the last game, he had four interceptions. So you could tell that he took it personal coming yeah. out here against Houston. And obviously, Houston, look, Coach Rabel even gave them credit. They played well enough that, you know, they stayed in the game. But yeah. 
when the going got tough, Ryan Tannehill stepped up, led that offense down the field, yeah. um, made some plays with his feet, with his legs. And what I loved about last game, going into a bye week in the playoffs, he got Westbrook Aquina involved. He got Julio involved. Yeah. He got AJ involved. And offensive player of the week. Yeah. You got to love it. You got to love yeah, the way man. that he's going in. Absolutely. Today. Hey, you said it. He was dealing nine different yeah. receivers, throwing to dealing. everybody. But as you mentioned, you said his name, uh, one of those guys, and we love to see it. Julio Jones got involved Julio. big time in this game. Julio. Uh, what do you have? Five receptions. Uh, had a touchdown finally, even though we know we had one in week three. Um, <laughs> we know it. We know it. Tape, don't lie. Uh, but yeah, it was good to see the, I would say the, the reemergence, the emergence of Julio, especially now at this point, he's seeming healthy. And, it, and I feel like, and you tell me, you're a player, I feel like he's just going to go all out, uh, a hamstring be damned, because it's about getting to that Super Bowl. Yeah, absolutely. Um, at this point of his career, at this point of the season, and I think he was a great pickup. We saw that, okay, he's not who he was, but when he was out there, he was effective. You know, they were yeah. able to get him involved, and they always seem to be able to get him involved regardless if he's played in two weeks or he hasn't played in two weeks. Yeah. He's going to get out there. Ryan Tannehill knows how to find him. They've been able to develop a chemistry. And as we saw in the 49er game, you don't have to worry about AJ. He's automatic. Yeah. So the fact that this past game that he was able to get multiple receivers involved, now this game plan is going to be tough for yeah. whoever they play going into the playoffs to scheme up. And we get Derek back. And the king is and back. And we get Derek back. And the king is back. All right, good to have Keith Bullock back with us. We've got to take a break right now. We've got lots more Titans Blitz on the other side. Do stick around right now. Here's some Nissan memorable moments. Yeah. We will be right back. Tannehill looking, pumping, firing for Westbrook Akita. He's got it. Westbrook Akita with a great catch. Tannehill, long count. Flip play, left side, Hilliard, 45-40, 35, and down. He slides down at the 35 with a first down. Kirksey with the tackle, but the Titans get 11, and that's going to get him to 12. 12 <laughs> wins. <laughs> Okay, so what now? We've made it this far. Listen, we don't celebrate just because we did the work. Job's not done. Everything stacked up against us this year. Sure, but it's fuel. We've been chopping a lot of wood. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. This is their plan. They want to come here, to our house, and do what they want. Good luck. Under pressure, big Chase Landry. Save! We're getting hot now. Back to the Titans Blitz, hanging out with Keith Bullock. We're here live, Nissan Stadium, where the action is going down. The postseason yeah. is here, and stuff like that gets you lit. I don't yeah, know there's yeah, other way yeah, to say yeah, it. Man, it's, a, it's a great hype reel. It was Why really did, it sends the message. It does that. Titans, of course, put that out online? Uh, it's been getting everybody going. Do, do you wish you had social media uh, in your day, or would that have gotten you? In uh, trouble? It wouldn't have got me in trouble. <laughs> um, you know, I, 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 I would have been fun on social media. Um, would have been. You are. It might have got me a little bit of trouble because, you know, I, 
I'm one that like to talk the talk and walk the walk. Yeah. We're kind of like Chad Ocho Cinco esque. You put it on your put it on yourself, but not all your teammates like that all the time. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I think Jeff would have been anti. Nah, yeah. Jeff was cool with it. Now. Hey, he knew at the end of the day I was going to show up, so it didn't matter. You know? There you go. And show up, you did. Uh, all right. Well, we got to move on to uh, this. Uh, I love this. One of my favorite pieces that we do. You have kids. When they, they yeah. your girls, when they when they would draw stuff, did you? They still draw. They still draw. Is up yeah. in the fridge? You magnet yeah. guy in the uh, fridge? Sometimes I don't even know what it is. Right. <laughs> right. But we love it. But we, we love, love it. it. We love it. Just it's the there. same. Perfect segue. <laughs> uh, we uh, asked our, uh, our young Titans fans to draw some of their favorite Titans players. And see if our Titans could figure out who it is. We don't really know, but we know we love it. Anyway, here is a vague Van Gogh. Check this out. You know, these artists have been doing a great job so far. I'm gonna see which one is the best. Say the best for last, what they always say. And we did, I don't know, I don't know. It's a lot going on right here in this picture. Ah. Okay, uh, I see the dread, so I immediately know who it is. We got the jersey. We got the dreads. I know who this is. All right, I see we got a, we got a Titans uniform. We got the black pants. I'm waiting for those to drop still. Titans helmet. This is a hard one. They tried to stomp me. Focus, locked in. Mr. 2K, this is Derrick Henry right here. Gotta be. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be Derrick Henry. I'll say Derek with the hair or uh, or rabbit. Mmm. You know who I think this is? Ooh! I'm gonna go with Jack Rabbit. Oh, this Bud. Oh man, I should have guessed Bud too. Ha! <laughs> it's me. Ooh. Nice, nice, nice. See, man, the dreads kind of throw me off a little bit. I ain't know I was gonna be showing a picture of myself. I would have picked myself first. You got a lot of talent, man. You got a lot of talent. Gotta hold off for a little bit right now and play a little game here on the Titans Blitz. Welcome back, one and all. I'm Lance Smith, hanging out with my new friends Alonzo and Blake. How you guys doing? I'm doing well. Doing well? Doing right. A little nervous? <laughs> you should be. This is very scary. Roll it. It is time now for the... Titans Trivia Gauntlet. That is, that gets scarier each week. I don't know if we change that or not. Anyway, here we go. I've got six questions for you, three apiece. They get harder as we go. we got a prize at the end of the rainbow. Let's get right to it. Alonzo, you won the rock, paper, scissor competition. It was a tough one. I saw it. Uh, you get the first question. Here we go. Alonzo, what two jersey numbers were most recently retired by the Titans? One and 74, nine and 27, 89 and 90, or 11 and 22? Nine and 27. Great Steve McNair and Eddie George, that is correct. One point to you, Alonzo. This season would have been really tough without 11 and 22. All right, next to you, Blake. How many yards does a kickoff have to go before the kicking team is allowed to recover it? Would it be five, 10, 15, or 20 yards? 10. 10 yards, onside recovery. Yes, point to you. You can applaud for that, yes. Alonzo, it's a tied game. Here we go, next question. Officially listed at 325, uh, who is the heaviest Titan on the roster? Is that Jeffrey Simmons, Danico Autry, Roger Saffel III, or Nate Davis? Who do you say? Who's the big man? Jeffrey Simmons. He is Big Jeff. But not the big ass. Ah, it's actually Roger Saffold. Yes, you could land an airplane on his back. <laughs> hey All right. Score still tied. Blake to you. Derrick Henry was born on January 4th, 1994. Whose song, Wild One, topped the Billboard Hot Country charts that same week? Was it Faith Hill, Shania Twain, Martina McBride, or Leanne Rhymes with the song Wild One? Shania Twain. Shania Twain sang some good ones, but she didn't sing that one. That was Faith Hill. The score is still tied. I was a sophomore in high school. Alonzo, to you. Which current Titan is a proud alumnus of the national champion Georgia Bulldogs? Is that Kevin Byard, Ben Jones, Julio Jones, or Randy Bullock? Who played the University of Georgia? Who do you think? You have to go with the Ben Jones. Have to go with Ben Jones. The man walks barefoot on the field before games. 
Country is from Georgia. Yes, Ben Jones, congratulations. Point to you. Uh, next up, Titans quarterback coach Pat O'Hara appeared in which football movie starring Al Pacino? Blake, was that the program Little Giants, Any Given Sunday, or The Replacements? Any Given Sunday. Any Given Sunday is correct. Yeah. Game of Bitches. All tied up, there we go. And moving on to the final question, you both get to answer. Alonzo, I will go to you first. How many officials are typically on an NFL field during a game? How many officials are typically on an NFL field during a game? Is that seven, eight, nine, or 10? What do you say? I'm about to go with seven. Gonna go with seven. Blake, what do you say? You're gonna keep the same answer or change it? Worth two points, seven, eight, nine, or 10? Eight. Gonna go with eight, and the correct answer is Seven, we do not need to go to a tiebreaker. Alonzo wins the game. Tough one, close call right here to you, Alonzo. You've got a signed mini helmet from Taylor Lewan. Give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Alonzo with that mini helmet right there. We've got more Titans Blitz on the other side. Keith Bullock's coming back. We're talking playoffs. Stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz. We are live at Nissan Stadium where the action is going down two weeks from now because we got a break this weekend. Uh, back with Keith Bullock celebrating this by this number one seed. Uh, so before we get into the game that's maybe coming up in a couple weeks and how we're playing, I wanted to put this out there. Uh, this was up on Twitter and, and, and wanted to wanted to highlight it. In fact, my man V Love is in the crowd tonight, so I wanted okay. to shout out this guy. Okay. He said, shout out Cable. <laughs> I was going to do that to him, uh, but we, we were highlighting his tweet, pointing that out, that look that you, the red gloves right there. Shout out to yeah, Cable yeah, for yeah, birthing yeah. this Titans look. OG, he says. So let's talk about that, Keith. You and the red gloves, that's a statement. That's a statement. And I say I've seen a lot of red on our field as of late and this season, especially last season. Kevin Byard, we see some red sleeves on Jeff Simmons. Yeah. But now I've heard you talk about this before. you got to earn it. Yeah, I mean, um, that's how it was. You know, uh, when I when I first started with the red gloves, um, I just thought it would look fresh. With our, it would look dope with our uniforms. You know, it has little hints of red, and, um, you know, I just added to that. But it was interesting. You used to have to earn it when you played with me. Um, Pac-Man Jones wanted them, but he had to put in work. My man Bo Scaife wanted uh -huh. them. He had to put in work. Chris Johnson wanted them. He had to put in work. And then now it's just uh, one of the team's colors, and it's great that it's still a traditionary color and it's still here. It's great to see. Now, I would say, though, based on your standards, that our squad has oh, yeah. put in the work. Oh, yeah, for Wouldn't sure. Oh, yeah, they've been holding it down the last few years, you know, um, yeah. putting in that standard. And, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's great to have been a player that played here long enough that – you know, when I look back and then people, you know, like yourself that remember the players in the past, you know, that something's still there. So. Yeah. You really, I mean, you, you saw the uh, gamut of the work put in here. I mean, er, hot in the early 2000s yeah. and the late 2000s. Yeah, and for you, sure. you saw it all. Uh, who on this squad would you have loved to have played with? Who would, who would uh, of our squad today would have fit in really well with you guys? I mean, there's a lot of guys on this squad that um, could have got on the field with us for mm. sure because there's a lot of guys that play with the tenacity and um, are real true football players but selfishly I'm gonna pick Big Jeff right <laughs> hell, like, yo, we they run a they run a 3-4 here so we ran a 4-3 so right. imagine having Big Jeff and Albert Hainsworth in the middle and yeah. when you were when you were playing with me like all you had to do was just go you didn't have to pick you know we played it we kept it very simple so those big fellas could eat and have fun and you know, we'll clean up behind them, you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, that would have been a tough salary cap situation, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm excited about what we got in front of us. Who do, you, who do you think, just out of the top of your head, that we might be seeing uh, uh, come out of this weekend that comes here? I, I think, what, Cincinnati maybe? Because I, I like okay. um, Joe Burrow. He's a young guy. He doesn't really – he's playing with really house money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where Derek Carr, he's uh, more – um, longer in his career, he's out to prove something at this point of his career, trying to see if he can take that next step. But honestly, I don't think it really matters. Do y'all care who comes yeah. here? Oh. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Love it. I love it. Got the heat. We got this, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Win or burn, baby. Win or burn. Yeah. 
Keith Bullock, man, it's so good to see you. I, I love how hyped you are about, about this team, about this game, what we got in front of us. Tighten up, baby. Tighten up, baby. Tighten up. You heard the man. We will 